This article contains affiliate links, we will receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more One of the stars of Outlander has paid tribute to the show's leads and producers Sam Hewen and Katrina Balfe for their work on the epic historical series. In an exclusive interview with Express, UK, Andrew Gower spoke about working on the hit star series and the news Outlander was now coming to an end albeit not for a while. For any show nowadays to go, they'll be doing eight seasons, that just speaks volumes about the creative team involved because many shows now don't get beyond a first season, a second season, Gower said. It speaks volumes to Diana, Gabaldon's books, it speaks volumes to, showrunner, Matt, B. Roberts, and, executive producer, Meryl, Davis, who run the show, the two leads Kate and Sam. I think to continue a series for eight seasons, I duff my cap to them, my Bonnie Prince cap to them. Moreover, Gower admitted he was gutted not be able to star with Hewan and Balfe in season 6, which saw him reprising his role as Bonnie Prince Charlie for a flashback scene addressing how the would-be monarch fled from Scotland in the aftermath of the Battle of Culloden. Paying tribute to the duo, Gower said, I think the joy of the writer's team right now and especially what I found when Kate and Sam took over as producers, I think there's this beauty of honoring the books but also a real delightful element of reincorporating characters from earlier seasons and that happened with Duncan Lacroix when Murtaugh arrived in later seasons. I think they've taken a nice artistic license and also listened to the fans. He went on to say, I was very unfortunate not to actually be on set with either of them. I was gutted to not actually work with them but I think they've just taken on those roles by the sounds of it just seamlessly. If anybody has an understanding of a show, having been on it for that long, it's going to be those two and I feel like it's great for actors now to offer their services as producers and learn about that side. Don't miss. Donny Osmond's appearance distracts the one show viewers, pictures the Sussexes suffering an Ennis Horribilis after being humiliated, inside Dan Witten brands Philip Schofield most loathsome person on TV, latest, watch Outlander for free with Lionsgate Plus trial on Amazon View deal it's something that really intrigues myself as well. In the future, I think it's a wonderful thing to be able to offer collaborate almost and those two people, Sam and Kate, have been from seasons 1 and 2 collaborators. That's a really important thing to have at the helm of any show as well as actors their collaborators. Since appearing in Outlander, Gower has gone on to a raft of other projects including starring in Black Mirror, Amazon Prime Videos Carnival Row, Netflix's You and Ms. Scarlet and the Duke among other things. He also launched his first EP The Jacaranda last year with his band Gustafson, which he formed with his school friend James Webb O. Webster. The four-track EP was produced with Craig Potter from Elbow, whom Gower had previously worked with on the independent film Running Naked. The Liverpool band will now be playing their first London gig next week at the Lexington with all proceeds from ticket sales going to the Al Kidmat Foundation in Pakistan. Gower said he was excited for Gustafsson to be performing in London and said it was about time with the band also playing their new single Northern Baby. As well as Gustafsson's set, fellow Outlander actress Caitlin Orion, who is also a spoken word artist, will be reading some of her work as well as performances from musician Martha Goddard and a short film called F. OG from Melinda Kaur and stars Kiran Sonia Sauer and Adil Akhtar. Gower also hailed the Outlander fans for their support over the years. He said, I think it's one of those things that has a massive fan base, 
the series for me, I've never rejoined a series before, as in come back to a series having been away for so long, and also the fan base have supported everything I've done since, which is so unusual for any job. Whether it's a BBC drama or another American co-production series, the fan base have followed my work ever since or music, they've turned up to gigs, they've bought records, so I don't feel jobs like Outlander or projects like Outlander come along a lot and I always feel lucky that I was a small part to play in that series. Gustafsson will be performing on Thursday, April 27th at the Lexington in London. For more information about tickets, please click here. For more information about the Al Khidmat Foundation, please visit Al Khidmat. Org Outlander Season 7, Part 1 starts on June 16th on Lionsgate Plus and airs weekly, and Seasons 1 to 6 are streaming on Lionsgate Plus.